Hey, welcome to another episode of Real with Ryan. This is episode four or five, can't remember, of the coding journey. This episode is going to be a little bit special. It's the last segment of the first half of my class that I'm going through. Once again, I'm doing the launch code um, course that's offered by the Walton Family Foundation. So thank you, launch code. Thank you, Walton Family Foundation. Um, right now, we are learning angular uh, which is a, a framework and kind of I don't think it's considered a language but essentially a framework um, that puts together a lot of the components that we've been working with so it puts together HTML TypeScript and JavaScript um, CSS and it builds out these applications and does a lot of the back-end work for you so uh, a big difference here is you can see all these files on the left hand side I'm not going to describe all of them but these angular projects build all of these files together into one project so you can really neatly organize and encode different things so right now if I zoom in here this is going to be uh, the TypeScript of a program that I'm writing in Angular and the HTML, um, or sorry, that was the HTML. This is the TypeScript of a program, and that is creating this. So on screen, let me just zoom in a little bit here. Um, you know, we are pulling in this data and we're building some functionality and some better visualizations to web pages. So. Here we have some, you know, launch code moonshot candidates, and we have these different candidates over here. If you click them, it pulls in their name, their, you know, different data points, as well as a picture of them. Um, and you can kind of click through there. And so it, it's listening and it's bringing in and loading in that data uh, in a really pretty way. Um, you, you have the button to clear the data if you want to do that. And then also we can select them and so you know select one person and uh something to note you can't select the same person twice so how to code that in there let's just send a couple in um and they're added to the selected crew and of course a button pops up and you can clear that so you know that's angular and kind of what it's allowing me to do or allowing us to do um you know just a, a way to organize the code it's doing a lot of the back end functions and and compiling and bringing together all the packages to make this code work um to be fair i really don't understand angular a ton and i'm just scratching the surface but we're overviewing it and it's been really cool um and i'll be honest angular has been really tough for me um, it started off really easy uh, to, to understand at the beginning, but I have just struggled and over the past few weeks my motivation to to dive into code and to spend the hours um, every week it takes to learn code has just uh, just been a struggle as my priorities have, have been on other things. So, um, But regardless, here is some uh, Angular code. Uh, that I've been writing here is um, you know the raw code for it. I'm not going to go into it too much, and it creates uh, a fun little app here. So this is a little web app. It's a little rocket, and uh, if we're uh, we do take off, we can click take off. It changes that, uh, and then we can actually click these buttons and uh, move this little rocket around. So a little bit of an interactive thing. Uh, if you notice, it decreases the height and stuff over here, so um, pretty fun stuff. Uh, and we can abort mission, it changes that. So yeah, that's really it. Um, that's going to be the end of our kind of angular um, session. We had uh, a handful of weeks working on angular, um, and at first I, I was really liking it. I, I still really do like angular. I think it can be a great framework. Um, but towards the end, it was just getting very complex. Um, my motivation for learning it started to go down the hill a little bit. So, um, you know, that's just something to, to keep in mind that as you're learning to code, I'm sure there's going to be ups and downs and, and parts that are really exciting to learn um, and really motivating. And then, you know, areas where it, it's a little more of a grind. Um, and sometimes you really do just have to put in that time to learn the code. And the past few weeks, um, this has been one of those times it's been a little bit harder for me to motivate myself um, to learn code. In this episode, we are starting the second semester and second unit of the Launch Code program that I am. 
And we're changing topics. On the last topic, we learned Angular, which was actually very challenging for me, uh, but an amazing um, kind of platform and, and way to code. Now, we are learning Java. And I've heard of a lot of developers and lots of hearsay about Java. Um, and one, kind of how difficult it is, but two, how important and practical it is. So with that being said, I really know nothing about Java except for it's a really popular um, either framework or language. Like I said, I don't know much of it, but we're going to be jumping into Java and hopefully learning how to code using Java. So really, really excited for this. Um, I'm re-energized by coding um, and ready to get back into it. So without further ado, let's hop in. Okay, so a little bit hard to look at what's going on, but I have installed Java and I have installed a new IDE. Uh, this called this one is called IntelliJ, um, and I think that's where we're going to be doing most of our Java developing on. Um, and ran the first program, which is a simple hello world. So. Um, you know, different syntax here. It's probably a little bit hard to see, but a little different syntax for running the hello world. And then, of course, if uh, we, we go ahead and run this program, let's go ahead and run it. It shows down here, um, hello world. It's very small. You might not be able to see it, but it prints hello world. So we have IntelliJ set up. Uh, you know, we've started uh, coding in Java. And so now it's really time to dive in and see what IntelliJ and Java, Java has to offer. Okay, so I have been learning Java uh, all day and been playing around and some really exciting stuff. So this is some of the code that I've written and we've written just a few simple programs. One is asks for someone's name and oh, forgive me, this is such zoomed out. Um, this one asks for um, the, the length and width of a rectangle and calculates that. Um, but the most uh, complicated one I've written today is, uh, so up here you can't see, it's called alicesearch.java. Um, um, and I'll go through some of this Java code really uh, briefly. So unlike uh, JavaScript and HTML or some of the other languages we've used, Java is a very strict language. Um, so up here, whenever I'm compare, or, uh, declaring variables, uh, such as a string or uh, a number, I have to declare the variable type up front. So what this code does is first it declares a string called Alice intro. Um, and that is the first paragraph of Alice in Wonderland. And so now what we're doing is using the scanner method um, to uh, take some input from the user. So we're asking to search a phrase in Alice in Wonderland, and then the user's typing something in, and we are storing that as a string called search word. Then, if the search word, so what the user types in, is uh, contained inside of this paragraph up here, inside Alice intro, then it will go ahead and execute the rest of this code. And what this does is, is it finds the index and the length of the, the word that you typed in, and it goes ahead and removes um, or replaces uh, that word or phrase you typed in uh, with nothing, so a, a blank. So it essentially takes out the word you searched for. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you uh, what this looks like. So I'm gonna come up here and run it. And now we're looking down here uh, it's really hard for you to see, but we're down in this area. I'll try to figure out how to zoom that in. Um, so it says search for a phrase in Alice of Wonderland. I'm going to be looking for the word sister because it's in there. And so it says at the index of 56, the length of 6, um, and then it will show me this um, down here. You can't really see it, uh, but it spits back that paragraph and it removes the word sister from it. So. That is as far as we've learned in Java. Um, so far, it's really cool. I'm, I'm really enjoying both IntelliJ um, and coding in Java. Uh, it's taken me a while to get the hang of today. There's some new types of syntax. 
Um, there's new working with packages and import, importing stuff, uh, as well as working with some, you know, public classes and, and things of that nature. But uh, so far, so good. It's a really first great day of Java and some uh, really fun code that I've written so far. Okay, so we've been doing a lot of work in Java recently, and we've made some uh, really fun uh, progress. So we've learned about different types of collection methods. We've learned about hash maps. We've learned about array lists and different types of things we can do. So looking at this code up here, uh, at the top we have to import a bunch of different Java packages, so hash map and map. And what we wanted to do in this code um, is actually enter in some sort of phrase or string and then go through that phrase or string and output the count of um, times that a letter uh, space or something uh, came up. So this is the code that does that. It's still a little bit small, um, but you can see here we're asking the user to type something in. Uh, you know, this string that's right here was a test string I was using. Um, but we're using, you know, a hash map that takes in a, a character and an integer. What we do is um, convert the string to an array, a character array. And then down here, you know, we're iterating through all of the characters in that character and array. If the string is already in the hash map, so, you know, the hash map is essentially an object that would be in JavaScript. So it's a key value pair. Um, <clears throat> so. If the character character is there, um, what we're doing is incrementing the value, which is the count of that character by one. Uh, if it's not there, then we're putting the character in there and assigning it to the value of one. And then right here, we're printing everything out. So let's just go ahead and run it and show you what it looks like. So it says, please enter a string to test. So I'm gonna go ahead and slop sloppily type in some stuff and I hit enter and now it's giving me an array uh, which is the count of all of the um, you know letters or characters in this so it has the spaces is 10 the a is 5 um, and it goes through all the different characters within that string and it tells me how many times that it was typed. So it was actually quite a challenge coming up with this, um, but it was really fun and a really good uh, kind of introduction to Java. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching another episode of Real with Ryan and joining along with me on my journey uh, from, you know, absolute novice in code to hopefully full stack developer. This has been a really fun one. Learned a little bit of Angular, uh, but and now diving into Java. And I think for a lot of the rest of my learning, we're going to be sticking to Java and learning how to implement some, you know, Java coding um, in more real world scenarios. So really excited for that. There's going to be some exciting episodes to come on this journey. Uh, but once again, I appreciate you uh, watching and, and listening and, and learning with me. So thank you for tuning in. If you like this, uh, feel free to like, comment, or uh, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything that I'm missing out or should learn next. And as always, thank you for keeping it real with Ryan.